What is up? I am back with another movie review. <clears throat> this time, I'm actually really, really excited to do this one. Well, here's a little hint. This one's also, of course, another movie I want uh, to watch, but never got the chance to watch it. And you might be wondering, what is it? Well, maybe is it the abominable? Nope. Is it the Adams family, which I never heard of? <laughs> yeah, I've never really heard of the Adams family, so I'm not going to watch the new one. You've seen this tile of the screen right over there. And you saw the thumbnail, you know, of the logo. It is none other than Fireman Far From Home. I am really, really, really excited to do this movie review. Uh, I haven't got the chance to uh, make a review about it since a few months because just like The Missing Link, Spider-Man Far From Home is also, of course, one of those movies I really wanted to watch. So, yeah. That's the what today's movie review is all about. Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, no, I didn't get the chance to see it in the theaters. I saw it on TV, which is from Redbox, which it did came out. And I thought, like, I got to watch that. I really wanted to watch Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm really excited for this. Spider-Man was, like, my favorite or superhero growing up. As you saw in the, uh, top 10 favorite Marvel countdown... You recognize that Spider-Man is number two on this list. Yep, that's basically how it happened. But, before this video starts... Like I always say, this movie may contain some spoilers. If you haven't watched Spider-Man Far From Home, which I didn't get the chance to see during July, so... I basically had to try to avoid any spoilers for Spider-Man Man Far From Home. A spoiler alert, there is a, a Iron Man part that's basically like a zombie, but I'll explain to it. Also, of course, make sure you give this video a like. Follow me in, at Instagram. Make sure... You also, of course, comment down below how would you rate, rate Spider-Man Far From Home or what mo movie am I, I do next. But I won't do requests, so no bueno for that. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Which uh, needs a lot of subscribers, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so let, let me think of what, how it happened. It went out from Endgame. After the uh, Endgame trilogy of Iron Man's death, eh, things were going normal in five years in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Everyone was just having their normal lives except all the Avengers have uh, died off. So all that's left was to head back to their normal lives. But in the beginning, Nick Fury and the, uh, her, his assistant were off to find out what happened to a, in a city of Mexico that was attacked. And that's where they meet Mysterio, the, uh, the somehow man from another earth, which uh, I will explain in sooner. But, but they're attacked, meanwhile, in New York or New Jersey. They made me, everything was going off so well in high school, they pay a little tribute 
Due to uh, Tony's death. Okay. So, basically, I didn't want... Oh, actually, I did watch Endgame, but I didn't want to make a movie review about it because I really despise it. <laughs> you may... I know you... I know what you're thinking. Why am I doing a movie review for Spider-Man Far From Home? Home if I didn't do Endgame? Well, here's the thing. The reason why I don't like Endgame because of the uh, memes they were making during during last year in Infinity War, Thanos snapped the uh, half of the universe away, and a lot of people are making jokes that that other universes got snapped out. And I thought, what the heck? I don't know why they did it. It's just not really fun. I'm not really a mean person. As you probably guessed it in the uh, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo drawing tutorial. That's basically why I don't do memes. Alright. Back to the movie. When the, uh, they told him what happened when half of the universe got snapped out. Then five years later, they came back. All things were going too well, except some few people didn't age, including Peter Parker, who is Spider-Man. And that's when, uh, they thought that he was dead. But nope, he just came back. It's still 16, even though it's from five years Years from now, which is basically 2019. So when uh, Spider-Man, Peter and his friends were off to a, a summer or vacation thing at school. Where they uh, get the chance to travel around in Ven Venice, Italy and part of Europe. Yep. But... Here's another thing that happened. While the little announcement thing of May announcing of how Spider-Man came back and after the uh, attack of Endgame, a lot of people were, exp were hoping that who would become the next Iron Man. They thought like, could Spider-Man become the next Iron Man? Be but here's the thing. Pierre wasn't really sure or he really want wants to become the next Iron Man, all he just wants to do is just beat the Spider-Man. But he needs this vacation, so he decided to put down the suit and went off. But one of the agents, Nick Fury, tried, tried to get him in part of the S.H.I.E.L.D. team after the Avengers died off. But Spider-Man refused to answer the call because he just want, wants a simple vacation. So... Alright, I had to uh, change the camera angle of this camera. But, anyway. Like I said, Peter decided to uh, not bring the suit to his trip because he need, needs his vacation Far from home, home with his friends, and he wanted to uh, tell how MJ how he feels about her, but he didn't get the chance to because his friend is a uh, dating MJ's friend. Who knows? And also, of course, Mary Jane also had a boy boyfriend. Yep. Then when they made it to uh, Vince in Italy, they were uh, enjoying their lives, but here's what happened. Peter noticed that his suit was in the case because Aunt May was the one who packed him there. <laughs> she thought she he might need the suit just in case of another attack might happen, but all he just wanted to do is just relax <laughs> just enjoy his life of how Vince in Italy would feel 
Also, of course, Pierre bought a really interesting necklace that reminds him of uh, MJ's favorite flower. He was about to give him to him, but suddenly, it attacked. A water monster, one of the elementals that have been attacking in Earth. Well, Pete, well, Peter didn't bring his suits because he thought he was just going to have a normal life until the uh, war monster intact, in which also, of course, Mysterio came in. Peter offered to help, but uh, he was wearing a mask thing, so that way he won't get suspicious. But he almost got uh, covered by not getting the... Uh, what the uh, bell tower from knocking down, but Mysterio was handling off the war mo monster off by just blasting it with its powerful rays. Yep, then uh, it was destroyed and he saved the day. And after the uh, of how what happened. The news mentioned about the uh, mysterious hero that came in and destroyed or the elemental. And that's how Mysterio got his name. So, Pierre, Ned, and MJ were wondering who is that guy and how did he, he even got here? Well, that's the question they don't know about. That's, but then uh, after Peter and Nat they were about to uh, go to sleep, Nick Fury came in and just tranquilized Ned and told old Peter that get his suit on, that he need, needs to come with him, and that's where he meets Mysterio, the uh, a human from another dimension. That's what he said. He also explained about what's going up on this world that the elementals are attacking. They are the uh, creatures from the lands of the uh, natural elements, which is air, earth, fire, and water. Mysterio destroyed three of them. And there is one element left, fire. That's the uh, strongest element. And if it got strong enough, enough to uh, become big, it would destroy the planet. That's what happened to him and his family. He managed to survive, but everything left has been killed. And Mysterio is now on a mission to save Peter's planet from getting destroyed. And uh, Peter said he can have his job. Because he just want, wants to live his life with his friends and not uh, think about the suit. And Fury understands. So he just let him off. But here's the thing. One of Fury's agents was the uh, tour bus guy that uh, helped them get through to their next stop. But they all decide to uh, take a little bathroom break. And can maybe a little lunch break too. Everyone went out, out to a spot. Except Peter, which was assigned to have a new suit. And when he got a new suit, he was trying to put it on. But all of a sudden, MJ's bo somehow boyfriend came in and saw what happened. And he thought to himself, is he cheating on MJ for another girl? Uh-oh. And all that, he just took a picture of it and was about to share it to MJ. Which made Peter so nervous that he might, that MJ might not like him. So he did, did got these glasses that called Edith. The uh, computer system, which uh, 
asked him to uh, delete the photo, but accidentally sent out a drone to shot him down. But Peter managed to disable it and destroy destroy the drone by drone by throwing it up to the mountain and managed to delete the photo. Close call, Peter. Close call. And then they made it off into the uh, the next stop. Then uh, that's where they got the new mission that the fire elemental will be coming and start to attack. Ooh. And Peter thought his friends would be in trouble because they thought they were going to the uh, carnival thing. But Peter had an idea to uh, send, send them to an, a safe place so they won't get attacked by the fire monster. Close call, Peter. Close call. So, after they were safe, Peter managed to uh, get to Nick Fury, who was so who snapped at him for almost attacking one of the students with its drones. Peter felt bad to himself that if uh, he won't keep this up, he won't be able to tell how MJ would feel. And Beck tried to support him by uh, knowing how he feel feels about it. And then the fire monster came up and attacked the festival. And that's when Peter became the new superhero, the Night Monkey. Uh, that's a little something that Ned came up because uh, he can't be seen as Spider-Man, so <laughs> he decided to call him the Night Monkey, <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. But all, th but anyway, the Night Monkey and Mysterio teamed up to defeat the Fire Monster, or from a. Uh, Getting through the steel and end its ring. But it got bigger and bigger because of the steel it ate. Mysterio made it in a strong willing sacrifice by getting to the heart of the thing with its ultra power. It was something that he shouldn't have done a long time ago and it destroyed it. He made a brave sacrifice but he managed to survive. Yay! <laughs> Everything was going accomplished. Pierre was actually hoping this time he won't and get into more, more attacks of what happened. And Nick asked him one thing. What would he do next? Pierre wouldn't decide. So Mysterio and Pierre decided to talk over it. And so, Peter decided that Beck would become the new Tony Stark. So he gave Edith the glasses and decided to walk off. But, here's what happened. It turns out, there is no Mysterio from another dimension. It's all false. Who Beck really is? Is that he is actually an old old employee that worked for Tony Stark, who stole his invention in and called it Barf, and got fired for that. <clears throat> there are also, of course, some other workers who worked for Tony Stark, which features some few few films from Iron Man and. and some few, yeah, yeah, just some few Iron Man films. That's basically what happened. And Beck wanted revenge for that because he, it was him who invented the machines to uh, create a perfect illusion. Not, uh, not Stark. And whenever, and when he uh, heard about T Stark's death, it was his perfect plan to uh, take Edith and 
make a conclusion that that would change his life forever. It was a perfect good thing. Man, he's really good. After that, Peter and MJ talked, talked over it and was about to tell him, him how he feels and give him a necklace. But, here's another thing what happened. MJ found out that he's Spider-Man because she found the uh, device thing that made the illusions. So, that's how Peter also found out that there is no Mysterio. And he was about to tell Fury, but all illusion. He was facing off Mysterio in a deadly illusion battle, even featuring Zombie Iron Man. Which I thought to myself, like, is there really showing off a zombie Iron Man? Oof. I thought it would be a horror film, but it was just an illusion. Good thing. And after the illusion attack, Peter got hit by a train. But also, of course, got received from Happy. And he told him how it's hard to become the new Iron Man. He's not the new Iron Man. He's Spider-Man. It's hard for him because every time he sees a picture her of Iron Man, he misses him. It's hard of saying goodbye to Tony after he died. Yeah, it's kind of hard that who's been a you know, caring father for you have died. Yeah, sometimes it's hard for me sometimes because I have some few friends that and some grandparents who had their loved ones died. It's hard. So... Peter was asking to himself, will he become the new Iron Man or become the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? But Happy told him that you don't have to be who you are. You just do what you have to do. And, of course, Spider-Man had one thing to do. He had to stop Mysterio you know, and save the day. He was about to end an illusion that had combined all the elementals, almost which turned out to be a fake, and managed to destroy all the drone wounds that he could to end the an illusion and bow to Mysterio. And he had one thing he had to do use the pig ear tingle to destroy all the drones and to end Mysterio's reign. Spider-Man managed to save the day and save Need MJ, who had to had, uh, show him the broken necklace, but she kissed him. That's really nice. I feel glad for that because they are perfect for each other. Yep, but in the ending scene, Mysterio found out that he's alive and told the whole world that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Uh-oh. I wonder what's going to happen now. We might have to find out really, really soon. Ooh. Alright. Anyway, so that'll be it for this video. Uh... If you want to see more of these movie reviews, like I just said, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel, like this video, share with your friends, comment in what you think, and I'll see if I could put up another video. Also, of course, my birthday is coming up, and I'll do another thing that will come up on my birthday. And after my birthday, I got... Uh, the uh, new poster board of the uh, Dimax Pokemon will, will come out for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which I will do very soon. I'll let you uh, check a little concept on it. Here's what it looks like so far. Basically what's going to be.
Thanks for watching. Have a brick day.